Hello honeys, welcome back to my channel. I am Bumbly Fern. You can find me over on Instagram at the Frolicking Fern. And today I am so excited. I have been waiting for this day so that I could finally release my side by side and giveaway this month. And we are going to be unboxing the tiny cauldron box. I believe I got the witch, uh, the witchcraft mystery box again, like the extra large. And with the craziness of everything going on and all that, she has been having a kind of a hard time getting orders out. So I apologize. If if you are affected by that she is working her booty off let me tell you and also we have a lot of fun things and exciting things coming along together so very excited hang in there but she finally got my wishcraft mystery box to me and finally we're going to unbox it so stick around So yeah, as you can see, this thing was a bit banged up in the mail. She wraps it in like a nice um, brown paper, but it does, um, it's kind of a little bit squished. So I might tell her, you know, I might kind of give her some feedback on that just because I don't want any of her goodies to be banged up. And she did, like I said, she's very busy. She did tell me that um, her packaging might be a little bit different than usual. so. So we will see what she meant by that. I'm not judging right now because I know she is going nuts with all the things that she has going. So we have the tiny cauldron, enchanted goodies for everyday life. And all the links of course are in the description below. Also forgot to mention, if you are interested in buying this box or any of the other beautiful things she has in her shop, you can use my code B for 15% off your entire order. So that is also in the description below. We have, yeah, okay, so she has bubble wrap. Usually she has um, her stuff wrapped in like moss, like she has a lot of Spanish moss and stuff that she uses, so really natural packaging. So that's something you can typically expect in her boxes. But I told her for me not to worry about it since I am already a loyal customer of hers rather fo her focus on you lovely people so we have an oil here let's see I told her to um, try to send me anything she would love for y'all to see because last time we got a lot of oils and some salts which you know I love my oils but I, she has so many other things oh my goodness so this is one of the items that I'm so obsessed with. I've actually been working with her on one of the items in her summer lens box that's a bit late, but it is coming out hopefully beginning of Ju or yes, July. And this is her summer lens oil. Look at all of that. She hand writes all of her own notes. So this will be in her summer lens box. And she sent me a sample to kind of check out and freaking gorgeous let me say and this is a true gem elixir because it actually has some peach selenite in there that will actually kind of dissolve over time and become part of the elixir itself but look i'm gonna try to get you a better view look how freaking can you see will it focus i need to upgrade my camera y'all we're getting we're getting there but look at all these beauties in there. I love like the fluffy bits. Oh yeah, you can see right there. Oh my gosh. So cute, so pretty. Lots of goodies in here. And I have a video coming out soon of the making of one of the items that I got to put in her box. So I'm so excited about that. Oh, mm, yes. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to use this. So Bunny Tail is that super fluffy herb you see in there. This thing is packed full of herbs and not just like super, you know, fine, loose, or you know, super fine herbs that you see um, a lot of oils packed with. Like she actually has like huge bits in there, huge chunks, so I'm loving that. All right, the next baby we got. Okay, so we have, ooh, we have money salt. I have been wanting some of this. This is on my wish list from her. I just ended up giving her an entire list of the, my top things I wanted since y'all know I will be ordering her from her a lot. 
Look at that, y'all better believe this is gonna be in some of my resin videos and projects. So allspice, bee pollen, cedar tips, and calendula. Ooh, I actually have a custom order that I've been working on. It is almost ready, you know who you are. And um, I may throw a little bit in this, into that piece if I can fit it. I just kind of finished it up, but we will see if I can, if I can fit some in there, cause you can see that bee pollen, everything, those like little pretty bits right in there. Oh, I love it. Money in abundance and the kind of road opening are like the top things I usually work with in my practice for myself personally. So, very exciting. Ooh, this is a bit different. Oh, is this what I think it is? Prosperity Oxymel. Oxymel, is that how you say it? Sorry, please, please correct me if I am wrong. Alderoon, let me know, girl, because I know you know it all. <laughs> but look at that. I'm so excited, y'all, to try these. Um, I will probably be doing a separate video on Oxymels and like how to use them and what they are good for, the kind of magic infused within them. And what an amazing, um, what an amazing addition this can be to your practice that is a bit more traditional um, herbalism and witchcraft that that, that is not um, utilized as much as it should be. So I'm very excited about this. And prosperity, y'all know, like I just mentioned. Mm. So there is that. So her base that she used is apple cider vinegar and honey. And then orange peel, clove, and cinnamon. So let's give her a taste. I'm a little bit nervous to do it on camera, but I'm gonna do it. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This may become like, Oxymels in general may become like some of my favorite additions into my practice, my craft. <gasps> I'm so excited. What did you give me? This one. Another Oxymel. Oh, Sensuality Oxymel. Very exciting as well. So we have beetroot and hibiscus. Apple cider, apple cider and vinegar honey. Apple cider vinegar and honey base as well. Actually, this one's gonna be beautiful. I feel like I keep seeing like a spider in the, out of the corner of my eye, but I think it's just my eyelash. <laughs> I just did like DIY eyelash extensions, but oh, look at that. Can you see it? It's like nice and red with that hibiscus and beet. Ooh. All right, let's give this one a sample. Ooh. Ooh, that's really nice. I am like super, super excited about those and there's also an, another one that I'm pretty sure she included in this box we will have to see but I kind of inspired the idea behind it so I will let you know if we come across it I'm pretty sure usually like her packaging is completely plastic free if you are concerned about that so um, you don't have to worry if you're worried about this but I do use this in all of my repacking and when I'm shipping out orders this is the one I was thinking of. Fairy Attraction Oxymel. So lavender syrup and fennel seed. Ooh, exciting. So this is the one that I was kind of throwing around some ideas and I actually on my wish list to her, I said, I really wanted to try some of her Oxymels and anything fairy related or money related, beauty related, anything like that. I was super interested in. And she was like, oh my gosh, we have to do a fairy one and it smells amazing. It's so funny, like I usually don't really enjoy the smell of lavender, but from the tiny collagen products, I really always enjoy it. It's kind of like such a light and fresh lavender, not like an overpowering scent, like it usually, like I usually come across. Oh my gosh. Oh, I could just like drink that. 
If she is selling this on her site, you'll need to go grab it because out of the three I have tried so far, this is definitely my favorite. And I have been working a lot with Fay work and um, fairy attraction and kind of just fairy altars, fairy, fairy work in general, fay work in general. So I'm so excited about that one. Seriously, go check that one out on her site if she has it up there. So we have a sachet. Oh, and it smells lovely. Negativity sachet, fern moss, prickly ash, fever few, and sage. Beautiful. So I'm sorry if I haven't been showing you these. But yes, and it smells amazing. I don't know if I'm supposed to open these, but I always do because I actually love using this in a less traditional sense and um, putting their herbs, like loose herbs and things, into my into my resin pieces because after all, they are herbs in there and, and I love, love, love giving out those botanicals. It's kind of a fun way to use these if they're made by somebody else. Kind of get your hands on some herbies and some mixes that you may not usually do yourself. So I also like using these as like incense sometimes to burn in candles. So those are some ideas if you're interested in using these in a less traditional way. Yes, I love it. So you can see some nice Spanish moss and then a bunch of other herbies down in there too. Okay, this is the last item in here. More beauty oil, okay. So I do already have some of this. I love it. It's actually like one of my, oh, it's so pretty. This is one of my favorite oils um, aesthetically um, of theirs. And it is just so freaking gorgeous. The poppy seeds and the lime in here are, oh, it's almost too much. Like you can just watch it just kind of fall around. It's like a little snow globe. And I love that texture on the lime. I don't know if you can see it. Nice chunk of lime in there. So poppy seed, purple basil, and lime peel. So let's give her a sniff. I know that sometimes when she use different, uses different bases for her oils, they actually smell quite different. Yes. So I do absolutely love this. That's actually really nice to have a, an extra because I use this for my, um, my beauty routine every day and also obviously my resin pieces. So absolutely love, love, love this oil. We will see if I will be including in my giveaway though, since I do have an extra and I love sending you the Tiny Cauldron products because I would love for y'all to kind of just get a taste of their stuff since they're a little bit less of a, um, funny enough, they're like the most tra traditional type. They're the most kind of like traditional um, based company that I buy from, but at the same time, they're not like a traditional subscription box. So, you know, kind of like you have like different altar tools and different things like in the Witch's Moon and Sugar Muses, things like that, the other boxes that I get. Um, this is mostly, mostly like oils and they have the sachets, salts, they have the oxymels, they have different ointments that you can get. They have, um, and they also have like the Salem mystery box and a kitchen witchcraft mystery box and kind of things that are a little bit more specific. And then like I've mentioned in my videos before, um, her, she's actually able to work with you more personally and, and you can let her know what intention you are kind of focused on working with or what kind of work you are working with at the moment. And she can kind of tailor and tweak boxes to that intention. I'm not, she's not gonna only put things in there cause it is still a bit of a mystery, but she can definitely help you out there. So I think that's amazing and a beautiful way to get your, get your hands on some like super high quality items that you are actually really interested in working with. So much more of a tailored box. I love that. So let me know what you thought down below. And also please let me know. I'd be really interested in hearing which mystery box of the Tiny Cauldrons you would like me to check out next. I have had my eye on the kitchen witchcraft box and the forbidden set. Uh, maybe I'll kind of like add on the forbidden set because I kind of know more what is in there, but yes, and the Salem box. So let me know. Let me know what you think down below about the items, about um, if you have anything that you'd like to see from them because I kind of know her a little bit more personally now and I can kind of drop some hints at what her audience might be looking for. So that could be kind of a cool thing. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to y'all later. Blessed be. Bye.